With the threat of Dorian possibly heading our way, the town of Grifton is remembering Hurricane Florence. Many spent days, even weeks, without power. The town is working to hopefully make sure something like that doesn't happen again. WNCT's Dylan Huffman was in Grifton today, and he's back in our studio now. Dylan. Duke Energy was out today putting up dams across the substation, hoping that the power doesn't go out if Hurricane Dorian brings flooding our way. But I'm told that a more permanent fix is on the way. It was very bad. Bobby Cox remembers Hurricane Florence all too well. The whole community was in water. Her and her husband live in Grifton. And of course, you know, the power was out several weeks. She says the town of Grifton is very prone to flooding. Town leaders say this is one of the worst areas in town off of Highway 11 when it comes to flooding. And unfortunately, this is where the substation is. Senator Don Davis says leaders have been working for years to fix that problem. When we look at the last two major hurricanes to come through North Carolina, um, Grifton has actually been hit kind of the hardest, um, especially, you know, in, in the area here. Duke Energy has agreed to pay a close to $1 million to put up a barrier around the substation that'll hopefully keep flood water out and keep the power on for people in town. Davis says it should be up by mid-September. This is so um, crucial for the residents of um, Grifton and especially to our businesses here. Anything that Grifton, the town of Grifton can do to help as far as the power outages and everything will be welcome. I like, I like the idea of that. But for this week, Duke Energy is out doing preventative measures, hoping to keep the power on if Hurricane Dorian comes our way. What have you guys been doing? Have you been doing anything with the threat possibly of another hurricane this week? Uh, besides praying, what else can you do? We don't control the weather, so you know, we just deal with it and pray. The mayor of Grifton asked Governor Cooper if he could help get a fix for the flooding around the substation last year. As we said, the barrier will hopefully be up by the middle of September. Live in the studio, Dylan Huffman, 9 on your side. Thank you.